how fast do you think you can run? Like, what's your, what's your top speed, ultimate top speed? Uh, it's time, sorry, um, that, you, that you can get to. What's your goal? This my, the, my question? Yeah. I've never, I've never put limitations on myself. Even as a kid, I was always that kid on the side of the pool while the other kids were in the water playing with their floaties. I was that silly kid on the side of the pool thinking that I can move my legs fast enough to run on water. <laughs> so, I mean, my imagination has never limited me and said, I can only run 9.7. Um, but each time I've ran faster and faster, it opens my eyes up to see that there is a possibility of running even faster than what I did previously. So I think I have the possibility of running 9.6. Um, if Father Time doesn't tap me on my shoulder, then hopefully I can be able to have that race where mind, body, and soul, and legs will allow me to even threaten the world record. Wow. Okay. I like the same question. <laughs> <laughs> um, like you said, you know, when you're a sprinter, right, you, you don't want to put limitations on yourself because it's almost a psychological thing, right? So if you're thinking my threshold is 9-8, then when you get to 9-8, it's like, now what? And you kind of have to rethink things. And if you think you're only capable of doing that, then you might not, it's almost uh, spiritual where you, 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 your thoughts become- um, Action. Yeah, action. So if you're only saying 9-8, 9-8, that's what you're gonna get back. So yeah. I don't like to per se say, I can only run this, but what I think I'm capable of is definitely running faster than what I've already ran. So my PRs right now are 9.9 and 19.9. I think I can run like a 9.7 if I have a great race. That's not to say that's my limitation, but I think that's what I'm capable of. And I also feel like I can run like a 19.5, 19.4 in the perfect conditions with the perfect execution in my prime, um, which would be very, very, I'd be ecstatic if that was what my career turned out to be. Right, right. I think what I've done, and you know, comparing to what you know your field, um, is that I see myself. I call it daydreaming, but it's more goal setting. But it's like in relation. If I was a sprinter, I'd be thinking. You know, you're saying, okay, nine seven, nine six. I'd be thinking, nine four, nine three, because if I go for that, and then I get to just below it, it's, it's great. So I've got all these other things that I want to achieve and I'm thinking about them all the time, every day, still do it now. And some of them I achieve and some of them I don't. If I don't, it's not the end of the world, but then I've got other, other things that I'm doing. Um, so uh, yeah, so I do a always, I like to drive long distances because I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking about what am I gonna do? You know, what can I, you know, how can I achieve those things? Um, so, uh, it's funny because I'm pretty similar to that where it's like the shoot for the stars and if you don't get there, right. you land on the clouds right. type of mentality. But you have to make sure you, there's a distinction where it's like, yeah, I'm saying 9-3, but if I don't get it, I'm not completely saying I'm a failure in my right. mind. Because if you think that way and it's all or nothing, then it, it doesn't behoove you to put that goal out there. You yeah. want to be more realistic with something capable. But if you can separate in your mind and say like, yeah, I'm going to shoot for Olympic gold world record. And if I don't get there, I'll be satisfied with Olympic silver 9-7, then, you know, that's the best way to get the most out of your potential. Because the goal can always stay out there. Exactly. Yeah. There's always a next race. There's always another deal. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a foundation, right. you know, and obviously, you know, when you, when you want to achieve 9-7 and you get silver, you know, obviously that should give you the hunger to be able to say, okay, well, 9.7 is good, but it's not good enough to the taste of what I want. So I need to go faster and to be stronger. And as you run faster, like I said, it's like an awakening. You realize, okay, for me to run 9.8 from running 9.9, I need to be stronger. I need to have a better meal plan. You, you start thinking of small things that will get you to 9.7 because it's always from from a 9.9 a nine nine to a 9.8, it's, it's a very small window. And it's always gonna be the small things that you change that are gonna help you get to that level.